A landmark in eastern Kern County that's been open for more than a century is getting ready to close its doors for good. In, the, in California's living ghost town of Randsburg lies a general store full of history and memories. But as 23ABC's Brianna Willis reports, the store is facing financial struggles due to the pandemic. And the current owner is planning for the next move. This is the Randsburg General Store. It's not only a restaurant and a store, but it's also a piece of history, giving a snapshot of California's mining days. But the owner tells me it's also a family, and that's why they're devastated to be closing in the coming weeks. Guys like me that are only open 14 to 15 hours a week can't survive with the high rents and the cost of operating. That's the reality for Brad Myers. He's owned the Randsburg General Store for six years, but recently, he says it's been difficult to stay afloat. It's been a rough two years with the whole COVID thing, and now with the new administration in, and it's making it harder on small businesses to survive. Uh, the cost of operating has literally tripled in the last year. And that's why in mid-August, Myers announced the iconic store location will be closing and downsizing. This left people who grew up visiting the store emotional. I felt sad for him because I mean it's I know what those people are going through and it it's just it's one of those things it's been part of my life for 60 years or better. My heart broke. I felt like I needed a rush to get there and visit them one last time. Amy Brown adds that the store is a unique local spot that you won't find anywhere else. I just think it's an awesome place. There's nowhere in Kern County where you can actually like sit down and Set out a bar that's 118 years old and enjoy ice cream or whatever you decide to have. But for many like Brown and Jeffrey Wadsworth, it's about the memories. It's a nostalgia thing for me because it's part of what I grew up with. And my son, he's now in his 40s and he still does the same thing with his kids. Meyer says customers have told him what continuing the legacy of the store means to them. That's why people from across the nation are coming together to try and help. The outpouring of, of generosity has just overwhelmed me and my wife. Waldward says he hopes this piece of history will stick around. It's just part of Southern California. It, it'll be a shame if it goes away. If the store cannot stay open, the doors will officially close and they move into another store, the vault, in mid-October. In Randsburg, Brianna Willis, 23BC News, connecting you.